I've never felt my lymph move and I could feel that sensation. It was really quite magical. I'm Hillary and I'm the owner of Four Pillars Ayurveda and today I'll be showing you how I do a face cupping treatment. What I love most about being a business owner is that it's a real creative process so I get to create you know the website the decor but then also how I'm going to give these different treatments to people. So the skills required to run your own business are vast. We're a laundry person, a cleaner, a website designer, a marketer, an accountant. The learning curve is huge, but there's so many courses out there too and uh, mentors that you can have, which I would recommend because I didn't have that when I started. But one of the biggest challenges of being a business owner and not having anybody um, employees or helpers or business partners is that it can be a little lonely and feeling like I'm doing everything on my own. So that's when I like to reach out to my other friends who are also business owners and kind of chat about, you know, the challenges that we have and then it doesn't feel like I'm so alone. So today I'll be doing facial cupping therapy and I kind of incorporate that into a facial. It's really therapeutic because it moves the lymph, which can be stagnant under the skin, especially in the face. I'm Chrissy and I'm excited to try a face cupping treatment for the first time today. As a small business owner, my self-care routine is really important to me. Um, depending on how busy I am, I try to incorporate a few times of self-care throughout the day. I have decided to get the facial cupping for the first time today because I've heard that it helps with lymphatic drainage and can make your skin look a little bit more plump and alive, and that really appealed to me. So how are you feeling? Are you excited for the, the cupping? I'm so excited to try it. I've been feeling like a little bit puffy, so I'm hoping that it will help kind of calm that a little bit. Yeah, and then obviously just make you look even more radiant than you already are, so. I am so excited for that. That sounds amazing, exactly what I need. <laughs> I start with a foot soak, and I use an herb in there that will help just to open up the channels of the body. And then while the feet are soaking, we do a little series of exercises that help to begin moving the lymph in the upper part of the body. And then I'll transition Chrissy over to the table. And then, this is one of my favorite parts, is I'll use a special hair oil that's just helpful for hair growth and hair color. And I pour that over the hairline so that we really get into massaging the scalp, probably the most important part of the body to massage. It's really helpful for relaxation. Next, I apply the face oil. So that goes, you know, all over the face, into the ears even, the neck and decollete, and I'm preparing the skin for the hot stones. The hot stones are helpful for just opening up the muscles, so getting ready to cup the muscles. And then we move into the facial cupping, which is really relaxing. We start with the chest that can kind of be a little intense sometimes because we hold a lot of tension there. Moving the cups out toward the armpit to drain the lymph, and then starting to work up the neck and chin, and then Continually, I will work an area and then drain it out back through the front of the neck and then down the chest and out through the armpit again. The cups are continuously moved on the skin and so there's no marks. Oftentimes people get worried that they'll have red marks or kind of hickey-like marks on the body, but if it's done correctly, then there should be no marks left on the skin. So there's so many benefits for face cupping. It creates a luminous glow. It can help decrease fine lines. It can prevent further fine lines. It takes away tensions, which people tend to have because we're looking at our devices and squinting a lot. After doing the cups, I'll use a little rose quartz mushrooms around the eyes just to kind of cool the face a little bit. And with Chrissy, I think that I'll do a nice soothing mask that has a chlorella base. So it's pretty good for all different skin types, but I just think it would be really nice and soothing for her. I usually remove the mask 
with a hot towel and after that just applying a really nice serum and she'll be, you know, in dreamland after that therapy. Okay, Chrissy, are you ready to see your face? Yeah, I okay. can't wait. Okay. Oh my gosh, wow. I have like n no wrinkles up here in my forehead and my lips are plump and I have really nice defined jawline. Yeah. Thank you, it feels You're so welcome. good. And my jaw's really relaxed after that too. Yeah. I feel so relaxed and really hydrated. Like my skin just feels very plump. Um, and I also feel really relaxed in my jaw. The treatment went really well today with Chrissy. She has gorgeous skin. So one of the reasons I love um, facial cupping is because I love to see the transformation. And with Chrissy today, she already she's young. She already has really a lot of elasticity. So for her, it just was a little bit of contouring on the lower part of the face and just kind of like, she just looked brighter um, and like more well rested. The face cupping felt really like you were moving things. So it almost felt like she picked up my lymph, which I guess she did, and moved it out, like totally drained it. And one should always avoid facial cupping if they've had filler or Botox um, within five weeks. So after five weeks, it's fine. But within that period, definitely um, avoid facial cupping. I would definitely try face cupping again. And um, I would, even want to do my whole body if I could. That felt so amazing. <laughs>